Hello there, Golf Freak here, and welcome back to some more Civilization Beyond Earth. Hardest difficulty, where we last left off. I am pissing off all of the civilizations around me. Why? Because why not? This is actually in range of petroleum. Lose enough in front of the city up north if I decide to later. Right now, it's not my end goal. Uh, right now, my end goal is basically just stopping him from being able to settle any other cities. I'm going to get a city down here as quick as I can. Um, I'm not going to worry about this resource because I highly doubt I'll get access to it in time anyway. So I think a city right below the fungus. Two more Xenomass. That's just, that's lovely. Lots of Xenomass resources around here. But I want to get as many cities up and running as I possibly can. So that I can get lots of trade going. And then with my extra growth bonus from being healthy, they'll grow a little bit faster as well. Best decision. Um, plus one production from trade depot. Oh, we want the production from trade depots. That's almost a no-brainer. Almost a no-brainer. Okay. Well, um, I'm gonna do this. I mean, like, if he's gonna say, like, this is his territory, that's like, no, really, it isn't. And I hope that it, it, he realizes that I did, in fact, already put a, like, a outpost up there. So he doesn't go like, hey, you settled a city here. It's like, that was going before you told me not to. Don't be a jerk about it. I also want to make sure I buy up all the land at the same time. Almost have this trade vessel ready. Um, you know what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to send you to clear up this coast. Go. Alright, end of the turn. Clear up the co all of these coastlines, um, then we should be able to send the trade ships through. You're going to do that as well, before he really decides to declare war on me. Because it, whether or not I can survive the war against him will probably make or break this game. And boom, big bonus to production. Yeah, down to five turns. Awesome. Then I can start getting more convoys up and running. Ooh, and there's an additional algae over there. Too bad this, this isn't this is an ocean tile, because then I could have taken this tile instead. I would have much preferred it. Well, actually, it wouldn't have mattered then, because I could only take the algae or the xenomass, and I definitely prefer the xenomass. Oh my gosh, that's all Miasma. I can't go in there. Because the only way out is Miasma-ridden. Okay, let's go get out of there so I can heal up somewhere. Okay, uh, you're actually going to go ahead and come back. Your 
recycler, ultrasonic fence. Um, yeah, yeah, that's all good. Production. Very nice. That trade convoy up and running. Send it to my outpost. Get my outpost growing quickly. Okay, you can come out now. I don't forget about the fact that I'm going to send him over here eventually. Because in epic speed, I don't know how it is in normal, you will definitely die if you leave him unattended. I wish they would give you a warning, like your unit's going to die in blank amount of turns from Miasma. Patent your discoveries. Each new species represents an opportunity for uncontestable ownership of that life form. Okay, level one harmony. Uh, let's get the plantation. Okay, so we finished the trade depot. We want the trade vessel, and then the trade convoy, and then the recycler, and then the old earth relic. So the idea here is focusing heavily on trade, so we get lots of internal trade, lots of external trade, so we get lots of everything. Um, biochemistry is going to be relatively important, but because I'm busy building other things, it's not on the top of my list right now. Um, ultimately revealing things on the map is. And we're going to go down and get Gene Vault after that. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. That's going to be big. Uh-oh. That is technically two tiles away, so they could very well attack me. I don't want to risk going in the water, and I don't need to yet. You have almost all the enough coast uh, revealed, and I have five turns to move three tiles. It didn't attack me, though. So 16 turns... Good boy. I'll have to remember... At least by turn 115. So I'm going to do right around 112. If they attack him, he's probably going to end up dead, which kind of sucks. But oh well. What are you going to do? Oh, is the city done? Very good. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, we definitely need to buy out the, buy these tiles. Thank you. And so that he won't get pissed if I do this at a separate time. And I don't have enough for the... Uh, to buy the colonists, but maybe I will... By the time I finish my marine that I'm going to send down, we're going to go ahead and grab the tile here and try to block off this entire part from him. Uh, he'll have to go militarily, which I would be able to hopefully say, nope. 
would be very nice, but who knows. Oh, there we go. Petroleum, two petroleum. Looks like a city up here would be actually be relatively good. But I'm going to leave that for another day. Yeah. I don't have any... I'm not planning on selling any cities. And I'm not planning on buying any more tiles. That's why I did them both at the same time. You're now unhealthy. So yeah, I'm going to want the health. How long do I get my next policy? 21 turns. That's going to be a little while. Um, I think it might be a good idea to get a clinic up and running. Yeah, because we're going to need the health. Um, I am slowing down quite a bit, simply because I'm going for... A, I'm, I'm spamming cities faster than I would normally. Normally I only have two cities at this point, so I actually would have enough health. But yeah. fact is we're growing. It's it, My sieve is a growth sieve. That's just how it is. Eh, come on home. Hopefully you don't get attacked in the water. Because that would suck. Anyway, we want to get that fence up and running so that I can get the quest that says, don't attack my trade caravans, aliens. Which is going to be vital. Uh, especially when I start settling cities down south because there's far more alien activity down there. Um, I should have you explore automated. I gotta check the other one. Okay, I gotta get it down at least three more, three more turns. One. Genetics for the health. I might go genetics for the health buildings. Um, yeah, I'm already going down it. Right, right, right. After I get reveal, actually, getting genetics first might not be a bad idea. Hello, Mr. Siege Worm. No, I'm not going to attack the Siege Worm. That would be stupid. <laughs> uh, just as long as the Siege Worm doesn't show up near my other units. You know what, let's see. I'm going here, and then we're gonna go to genetics, geophysics, genetic mapping. Wait, what? Why did that not do what I wanted? And then probably alien life forms, but it depends. Actually, get a xenomass well would be on the top of my list. Oh, no! Oh, well. Looks like that's all the exploring I'm going to do, since the aliens are destroying me. Instruct the children not to dream of toys or sweets. Instruct them to dream of infrastructure. Okay. Um, so now we have that. We want the trade vessel and the trade convoy, followed by the recycler. Because it gets extra, it gives me extra production along with everything else, which is quite lovely. Quite lovely. Hopefully, Firebase One will get out of here. I'm not going to trade with it. I can't trade with it because it's blocked off by the miasma. And part of me wants to keep the miasma too. Um, aside from getting rid of it for trade and clear paths, it's actually a really good thing to have because eventually you can heal in it and if they don't have the same tech, they will take damage in it. I'm also not particularly going for any specific victory, which is something to take note of. Trade 
convoy. Get some additional energy from him since I got nowhere else to trade at this point in time. Uh, once I get more cities out, I'll eventually go down there to do so. But right now, it's important that I get like lots and lots and lots of stuff. How long? Ten turns. Unfortunately, the culture is kind of slow at this point in time. But it will be okay. Yes, yes, we're slightly unhappy, unhealthy. And I will go ahead and build, like, the uh, farm lab and stuff in my capital after this soldier. Give me up enough healthiness to where I don't need to worry about it too much. I'm just going way faster than I would be normally. Aha! Period. Wait, what? Oh, they death. both declared war against me. I was going to say, like, why would you declare war against me? Okay, looks like I'm going to build a couple soldiers. Or marines. Okay, you heal up. Right? Okay, you're healing. You should also be healing. Um, let's get two more marines up. Because I got nothing else to really build. I can build the combat rover, I guess. Let's go ahead and build a combat rover and two more marines. Um, we'll send them all to the front lines. Although I could buy the settler. I didn't think of that. Uh, okay, trade convoys will not be attacked by aliens. Very important. Also, I lost my bloody trade, didn't I? Gosh darn it. Oh no, you don't lose it. It just goes to sleep. That I like. Because trade is you trade far more in this game than you do otherwise. However, if he raises it specifically, then I think it will go away. Anyway, I got 20... F I got, should have strong enough cities to where they can't really do anything. Although he does already have, like, really ridiculous things. You know what I'll do is after I get this marine, I'm gonna send. I am gonna send him down here, and get my city up and running. It'll take some time, but that should be fine. If he's not sending anything out, I mean, it's not like I have a whole lot to worry about at this point in time. But yeah, I was fully expecting this. Do not like not being able to trade. In fact, I should probably just go straight to trade convoys now. Uh, let's go ahead and purchase the colonist. And forget about these. I'm fairly certain with my city strength I could hold out against whatever he's got. Oh, that's what you wanted to do? <laughs> okay. How are they doing in terms of affinity? Only a couple of them have reached a level. Well, actually, the majority of them have reached one level. I'm the only one who's reached more than one level. You go to war with. Okay, so there are two trade routes I could take. Let's get you up and running, because then I can get more health out of you. Okay, I need health. Very badly, so we're going to go for the health. Then the laboratory, get all that stuff up and running. Earth Relic up, and then you're gonna get the uh, Farm Lab Clinic and the Cryo Nursery. 
Then the laboratory. Okay, you know XP. Plus only 22 damage. I mean, like, whoop de doo Keep attacking me. Please do. Please do. Yeah, you did the fastest. Maybe. Okay! Huh. Hopefully I can get to that tile. Boy, Siege Worm and Aliens. Siege Worm shouldn't attack me. I think they are, they are more passive than the other aliens. Oh, perfect. Thank you. I wish there was a unit screen. I still haven't found that if that exists. Oh no. Two siege worms? What the heck? I really can't attack any aliens right now, can I? And unless we put a city over there, which I totally agree with, but for right now, we want a city here. Okay, now that that's done, we just fortify here. And are there any other trade convoys? Uh, yes, apparently. Ah, uh, because of the miasma. Okay, um, I need to get some more workers up and running. But until I get my health up, that's going to be second on on the back burner. Alienists spawn national tiles that have xenomass and miasma on them, huh? Well, I, I know for a fact they spawn... Oh, are you? Are, do you mean that it's they have to have xenomass and miasma, or it's xenomass or? I guess it's a, you used and, but it could infer that alienists can spawn a miasma tiles. So the alienists can only spawn a miasma, miasma xenomass tiles. I didn't notice that particular piece of information. Um, makes a lot of sense. And I can build petroleum wells, and since Miasma doesn't affect me, sure, I'll go ahead and go over here. He doesn't seem to actually be doing anything. No, it's actually going to be more important for you to be down here. Because we can get this cleared up, then I can start trading to and from the city. Which is why the remove Miasma is actually really important for my strategy. There's so many aliens around here. Like, seriously. Okay, you sleep too. I'm putting the recycler, which is fine. I don't think these aliens will attack me if I leave my take my guy out of the city. Hurry up and die, darn it. Sure, more XP, why not? Okay, there are apparently no aliens around, but just in case. Because they will go for worker units. Anyway, it's turn 125, it's time for me to cut this video off. Thank you all very much for watching, and God bless.